What's up, Capricorn? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sintian, and welcome to your December 2021 financial reading. All right, if you are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. Also, interact with the content, let you know that you enjoy this type of content. If you are not new, thank you for all of the support that you've given thus far. Greatly appreciate it. Um, the description box. This week, there's going to be three different things that you can find there. Of course, you'll find a link to SatVSentient.com where you can book your personal readings with me as well as uh, all of our merch that we have there as well. Um, then you are going to find the Direct Me link. The Direct Me link contains links to all of my social media. And finally, most importantly, this week, <laughs> um, you're going to find a giveaway that I'm doing in conjunction with Moonchild Healing Services based here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to pick three winners, one of which will be the grand prize winner. All three winners are going to receive a one-on-one -on -one tarot session with yours truly, as well as a Reiki session with Moonchild. And then the grand prize winner will receive a spiritual gift box full of spiritual goodies. So there will be a link to that. If you all participate, good luck. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your money reading. Okay. What's going on with Capricorn financially? Let's get an A, B, <laughs> All right, what's going on with Capricorn financially? Y'all are one of the signs that keep money, so this better be cute. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of expansion. It is a card of waiting on your ships to come in, but like in the reverse, you may be tired of waiting. You may not be seeing the progress that you've been waiting for. Or, or no progress at all, and you're just, you tie it, okay? But let's see why that three is in reverse. All right. What is the root of Capricorn's financial issue? Okay, that's too many. The root of Capricorn's financial issue Could this be a love up? All right, and what does Capricorn need to do immediately? What does Capricorn need to do immediately? What does Capricorn need to do immediately? What obstacles is Capricorn facing? What obstacles is Capricorn facing? Okay, and where can Capricorn find the hill? Capricorn, friend. <laughs> okay, so, um, for some of you all, the root of your financial issue is, it could be a, a person, someone who um, you're romantically involved in or were romantically involved in. For some of you all, I'm getting like alimony. Um, we have the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups. The Five of Cups is crying over spilled milk while not seeing what's ahead of you. And the Seven of Cups is being delusional, having your head in the clouds. This is also a card of options and choices. Okay. Um, so for some of you all, like I said, it might be an alimony situation. If that's the situation, then you're needing to... Um, if there's like something that you have to pay out, something that you're regretful, it doesn't necessarily have to be alimony, um, but something that you have to pay out that you're regretful about, this could uh, indicate that instead of having like a negative outlook about it, that you need to figure out how to create more income. Um <laughs> Granted, if it, this is an alimony situation, more income means more that you pay out, and you probably don't want to do that. But don't us uh, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. That's absurd. Um, however, 
if this is not you're needing to um see the other options but the two of cup i mean with the five of cups um traditionally there's three cups falling over and two cups that are still standing that is your more opportunity okay but then we have the seven of cups which represents options so it's like you have nine cups that you don't see there's something directly in front of you several options that could bring you happiness nine of cups contentment but you don't see it because you're worrying about what you have to pay out or the past shit okay so the root of your issue here is worrying about little things <laughs> instead of seeing what you still have in front of you what other options you still have to make money okay um what you need to do asap honey is the king of pentacles and the two of swords it's time to get out of your feelings and boss up okay it's time to boss up you need to uh, uh, pick up your uh, pick up your feelings <laughs> you're, you're you're being too emotional okay you're needing to use your brain make head over heart decisions okay um obstacles that you're facing you may be um again you may be there may be like a job that you applied for that you didn't get or um, other opportunities that you are interested in that you are not getting or opportunities that are coming through that are just not turning out to be what they're supposed to be maybe even being a bigger um, burden versus a help um, but I mean, <laughs> that is your obstacle. You, it's like I feel like some of you all are just having difficulty finding your footing, like finding a new beginning, and you're letting it beat you down emotionally. Um, it's like you're going on interview after interview, and nothing is panning out and then instead of instead of saying optimistic you are just like being overburdened by it you're letting it beat you up you're getting into your feelings about it and instead of saying positive um and damn friend um but where you're gonna find help at is with the two of wands in the reverse. You're you're being indecisive. Um, what I saw when this first came out, uh, two of wands reverse with the four of cups, is that some of those uh, options or some of the offers, like maybe um, the offers that you're getting as the obstacles are just, they're coming through, but they're not satisfactory. But then in the position of help, the indecision and the disinterest of these offers is kind of what's holding you back. Like, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to have to say this. Some of y'all are being way too picky. Like, yes, have standards. Don't settle for um, a piece of shit ass job. It's not going to do anything but like make you tired and then not even benefit you financially. But there's like certain things, like some of you all might be offered a job that maybe it's like a thousand dollars less than what you're looking for, but has like all of these perks, but then they don't have a break room specifically for management or something weird like that. And you're like, oh no, I need even have my own management break room. like. Some of you all are being way too picky. Some of you all are getting exactly the amount of money that you want, but then it's little shit like that. Like, and there's no management break room. I can't. That's so ghetto. But you're kind of like stabbing yourself in the foot here. <laughs> Especially with the way that the world is changing and the way that the workforce is changing. 
um, due to the events of the past few years. Like you're kind of like stabbing yourself in the foot here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get some numerology. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Um, manifest while also putting in the work. Okay. Manifest the type of jobs that you want by putting yourself, but also put yourself in alignment with these things. Okay. Don't just apply and hope for the best. Um, also, we have the energy is gaining momentum. Um, perhaps because you are um, applying and applying and applying or whatever the case is, whatever it is that you're doing, the energy behind it is, even if you're manifesting, especially if you're manifesting, the energy behind it is gaining momentum, which means that at some point it's going to come to a head. Um, also, we have the be bold to make the first move. This is a card that can indicate that instead of waiting for someone to call you about a position, call them. Um, this can also look like creating a position for yourself. Um, within the company that you may already be with, I see that uh, the company is slacking in this area um, for the same salary or for, t for a few thousand more than what I'm currently doing. I'll also take over that. And these are the ways that I can do it. Like, go after the money. Like, go after the positions. Create positions. Make room for yourself, okay? Um, be bold. Be bold. All right, so let's get a rebel message. Rebel, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Talk not to Don. I don't care, but tell Cap what they need to hear. You equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Perhaps, friend, you're trying to be too controlling. Just relax. Again, stop being such a... Um, such a, a nitpicker, all right? If they don't have the management break room, then fuck it. Drink your coffee in the regular break room. Like, why are you doing this? So why are you doing this to yourself? It's like self-sabotage. Okay, um, but loosen up, okay? Necessary. What is the advice that we have for Capricorn? The Daughter of Wands. That's the page of wands here. Um, it's taking me back to where I said, um, where I said, create space for yourself, get inspired, all right? Um, the page of wands, the daughter of wands, um, is young, but about it, <laughs> like, doesn't even have the sense to be fearful, you know? This is someone who just goes for it, okay? So you need to own some more of that energy. We have the two of pentacles in reverse, which is imbalance and the inability to um, prioritize what's important and the moon. I'm feeling like you're needing to deprioritize something here. And the moon in the reverse is coming out of your shell, um, releasing fear. Stop making uh, fear and insecurity such a big part of the equation when it's not. Like, stop letting your fear control you. Be like the page of wands. Be bold. Get out there and just do it. Find a space for yourself. It's kind of like <laughs> baby emperor energy. Like, make a solution. Things are not going the way you want them to go. There's options. You just have to see them and own them and get after them. Okay? If you're going to be nitpicky, then create create something for yourself where you can get what you want. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> that's your reading Capricorn if that resonates for you please let me know how in the comments below make sure that you like share and subscribe participate in the giveaway we're going to announce it soon and until the next time that I read for you all Capricorn I wish you all love and light and everything right and I will see you in the next reading